In Sea of Thieves, some of the most painstaking grinds come not from leveling up your Gold Hoarders, Order of Souls, or Merchant Alliance levels. It comes from everything outside of that. Things such as Accommodations, Athena Rep, Sea Dogs, and finally Hunter's Call. The fishing faction of Sea of Thieves and boy oh boy, can it be super, super annoying to level up. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get there in as little time as possible, so strap in and let's get into it. Today I'm going to show you how to get yourself to Hunter's Call level 50 within a super short period of time and I will show you how this all works out later on in the video. If you need any more help in getting to max rank for any of the other trading companies, you'll find more guides on my channel. For this strategy, you can do this with any amount of players, including solo. First things first, you're going to want to start hopping servers. What you're looking for is to spawn at Ancient Spire or Plunder Outpost and I will tell you exactly why in just a moment. You're going to want to be Pirate Legend first before doing this method. If you're still not Pirate Legend, make sure you check out my How to Get to Pirate Legend Fast video as well as How to Rank Up the 3 Core Trading Company videos. Links will all be in the description. If you spawn at Ancient Spire, start the legendary Storyteller Tooltail on the bar of the tavern. And if you spawn on Plunder Outpost, start the Cursed Rogue Tooltail in the Order of Souls Town. This will decrease the health of Island Skeletons to just two sword hits, making your life so much easier. After that, you're going to want everyone in your crew to buy a Thieves Haven Run Voyage from Lorena and start stocking up your boat. If you're hopping between servers and cannot find the right outpost, for every server you join, make sure to buy a Thieves Haven Voyage, as this will allow you to have a full inventory of voyages before finding the correct outpost, and this will also allow you to do the method for longer. Do not raise the Athena Emissary, as this will attract unwanted attention while doing this method, and that is not what you are here to focus on. There are two ways of doing this method, one is considerably shorter than the other, however I will run them through both with you now. The first method, which is the shorter one, is to grab a full inventory of Thieves Haven voyages by buying them from different servers and sailing on over to Thieves Haven. What you're going to want to do is put down your voyage once there and complete the first chapter of the voyage. This will 100% be 3 dig ups on Thieves Haven, which should give you a few mermaid gems. You could get Athena items though, so it is just complete luck. Once you've completed the first chapter, go back to your boat and cancel the voyage. Once cancelled, start up a brand new voyage and repeat the process. This should net you a lot of mermaid gems, and obviously the more people you have in your crew, the more voyages you will have at your disposal before having to go back to an outpost. What I mean by this is if you have 4 people in a crew, each carrying 3 Thieves Heaven voyages, this will guarantee you 12 voyages each, containing 3 dig ups, meaning you will get yourself 36 items in a very short period of time. Out of these 36, you should gain yourself a lot of mermaid gems, and obviously once you've completed your first 12 voyages, you can go back to an outpost and buy some more. The more you complete these voyages, the easier it will be to locate the dig ups and get yourselves a lot of mermaid gems in a very short period of time. The Thieves Heaven Voyage is the only one in the game currently which drops mermaid gems, so this is a great way of getting them. Once you've had enough and you want to go and sell, visit your nearest sea post and sell all of your gems. This should increase your rep massively. The longer method is essentially the same thing with the Thieves Haven Voyages, however you're just completing the voyages all the way through. This can be slower, however you will gain a lot of Athena items also, so it's basically better for multitasking. If you want some tips and tricks for how to do Thieves Haven Voyages quickly, make sure to check out my How to Rank Up Athena Fast video, link in the description. With all of that, you should be well on your way to max level in Hunter's Call. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, check out the other videos on my channel, and also make sure to check out Hunting Clash, and I'll see you guys in the next one.